Hi, lovely water signs. Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your guiding reading for the week of April the 14th through till the 20th. I hope you enjoy it and happy birthday to any of you that have got Aries in your chart somewhere. Okay, well the month of April has been a very trying time for lots of people. It's actually a transformation period. There is so much energy going on with different planets doing different things. It's actually a time of introspection, going within, learning from past mistakes, transforming your life, not letting those issues that have hurt you or held you back in the past carry forward into the future. It's time to address them, um, accept them and release them so that you can now move forward positively in your life. Now if you guys like this please push like and subscribe, leave a comment, I love to know where you're watching from and also if you wait till the end you'll get your own personal message. So today we've got the lovely cat cards again so let's start off with the two of pentacles. So this is where you are juggling things. You are balancing things, you're in a bit of a balancing act, you're either juggling two jobs or juggling decisions or trying to make up your mind what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel secure. You may be even trying to make up your mind um, on what to buy or how to spend your money, okay? Um, clarifying that is the Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you, you may be working really hard at a job. You've been doing the same old thing over and over again and sevens are about learning and you're trying to work out, is this how I want to earn my money? Do I want to keep on doing this the same way all the time? Is this bringing me what I want? So you're just sort of pausing and analysing your own life. It's either to do with money or security. And then you go on to the Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords is about news, information, texts, phone calls, things coming in, but it's all about uh, learning from it. So sometimes in some of the readings, people say it's people spying on you. It can be that, but it's also about looking at the fine print, checking out the the legalities of things, making sure, seeking the truth actually, making sure everything is done properly. And then you've got the Emperor. So some of you might be dealing with a government department or somebody in power. And so you've got this news or um, information that's coming to you and you need to check it out properly. And it may be coming from the source. This can also represent you guys being in charge of your life if you want to do things on your own and be your own boss. And uh, um, This also represents too getting your energy back, getting your mojo back, feeling in control, taking control, um, being bold, being courageous, being adventurous, that sort of energy is around you, so use it, because that's what tarot is about. It's about, an, it's about energy that's there for you, and it's up to you what you do with it, because free will reigns. Then you've got the five of swords, so this is where someone could be talking about you behind your back, or you've got a little bit of mental conflict about what do I do next, I'm not too sure what I want to do, that sort of thing, but you're rising above it if people are talking about it. I love these cards, because you're walking away from these ones who might be jealous too so it's you trying to work things out in your head uh, and then you've got the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is great because the nine of pentacles is telling you you can do things on your own so seeing it's right next to the emperor card if you want to go out and start your own business or you want to go on holiday even though you might be in a relationship it's saying you've got everything you need to go ahead and do whatever it is an adventure um, a venture anything like that you can do it on your own you might be hesitating thinking oh I need to go with someone else or I need more money or I mightn't be good enough they're saying you've got everything you need then you've got the ten of swords so this is where you've been overthinking worrying um, it could be horrible worrying but it can be excitement it doesn't have to be negative um, about something but anyway whatever you've been overthinking about keeping you awake at night that is over now dead done dusted finished you've made your mind up about something and it's ending and you've got the three of um, swords there so it's like is it the three Oh, it's a nine. Sorry, my eyesight. The nine of swords. So you've actually got the nine and the ten of swords. So I feel like something that's been like a nightmare or something that's been waking you up and you've been worrying about things, 
because you've got the nine and ten of swords right next to each other it's like you overcome it you solve the problem whatever the problem was you've looked in another direction or they've got the information it might have been information you've been waiting for has come in from um, a higher source I mean like a government department or somebody like that and that has now um, helped you make your choices and it's going to end the worrying some of you nine and ten can represent depression too so if you have got that please seek help I'm not a doctor then covering the whole week, you've got the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is looking back fondly with memories, to even to do with your childhood, to do with your past. It's about reminiscing. Sixes are good too. Sixes represent getting the balance in your life. And you've got right next to it the Three of Swords. So for some of you, you've had a broken heart or things have hurt you from the past. So now it's time, because we're in this transformation period, to address that, work through it, and then leave it where it belongs in the past so that you can move forward. And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there's some other offer, information coming in, comes in slowly, but it's going to really, really help you and your security. You've got the chance now to learn something new. And it's either going to empower you to be the boss, to be in charge of your life again, or it's coming from somebody who's like that, who's a leader. It's about being in charge, being bold, being courageous, having that energy to go and do it. But you've also at the end of, towards the end of the week, I suppose, you've got the Hermit card. So this is about um, doing things on your own, going and seeking some privacy, sitting in the bush, shutting yourself in the bedroom, anything like that. The Hermit is about um, thinking about your security, waiting for enlightenment, trying to get messages from above. But you need to be by yourself. You, you just need some time out on your own, away from everybody, so that you can work things out for yourself. Okay? So, Because we are in that transformation period and it's going to start changing around the 20th of April, which will be really good because a lot of us, it can be quite tiring, um, this whatever energy it is that's coming from up there. <laughs> okay, Cancer, your advice for the week. Oh, lovely. These are Belinda Patton's um, nature cards. She's another Kiwi. Cancer, you've got surprise. An exciting surprise is coming your way, an opportunity or an offer, a gift or a proposal, something that will make your heart sing for joy. Beautiful art, her art and her words. And then from Divine Directions, you've got Korea. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. And so for you retirees, it might be going for a walk in a different area, meeting up with a different group of people, starting an art course anything like that okay lovely Scorpio what do you what have you got you have got yes very positive move indeed so something you're thinking about doing very very positive the path is safe and there are no obstacles in your way have faith and go for it so all of that worrying is coming to an end and when you've been having these sorts of trying something new or going in a different direction or asking a different person for advice yes do it it's the right thing Always follow your gut instinct to water signs because you guys have got the most intuition of all the signs. And then you've got affirm, create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down because that's really important. It's the best way of pulling yourself out of something that might be negative or draining. Um, you turn it around to how you would like it to be and make a positive affirmation. You can put them onto post-its and stick them on the mirror or on the fridge or carry it in your purse or your pocket and just say it over and over again to really, really believe it because it's the believing and having the faith that will make it happen. Writing it down is really important. Okay, Pisces, what do you need to know? You have got independence. Do it alone. You need to act independently at this time without any input from others. This needs the purity of your soul essence. And that is why, Pisces, you have got the Nine of Pentacles and you've got the Hermit. You need, and actually the Emperor can be a person or um, of doing things by yourself. Having faith in it. There we are. Do it yourself. Go. And signs. Your past loved ones are never far from you. You notice the signs they send you. Okay, Pisces. Okay, lovelies, have the most wonderful week. Blessings to you all and thanks for watching. See you all again. Ka and all. Bye.